Hello, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to enable remote features and how to set up remote features on the Xbox app and your console, as well as how to screen record on iPad and iPhone. So you might want to stay around until the end of the video. So the first step is to turn on your console and head over to the settings page. Once there, so you want to scroll down to devices and connections, then to remote features and making sure that enable remote features is on. If this is not enabled, then enable it, otherwise you won't be able to use remote play on the Xbox app. I'm going to show you later in the video how to set that all up. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to download the Xbox app from the Microsoft Store, App Store or Google Play Store, whichever you have installed. Then you just want to open it as so. Two options, sign in or set up a console. We'll set up a console later, so just press sign in. Press continue. And then you'll be putting up this sign in page. Now place the email that you use for your Xbox account into this section. After that, enter your password. and it will find your account which it has once it's found your account then just go ahead and press let's go i'll bring it up onto the xbox app home page to set up remote features just go to up here and then press get started this is where you can set up an existing console next and it's going to ask you to turn your console on and sign into the same account that's signed in on the app. So I've turned my Xbox console here. I'm signing in with the same account. Okay, so it will just load in like you normally do when you turn your Xbox on. Just wait for it to load and then it will ask you to put your password in like normal. There we go. Should come up any second now. Okay, so go ahead and place your password in that you use for your Xbox account. Once you sign in, you come up onto the home page like normal. And then the Xbox app will change. Saying that it's found your console and it's ready to be set up. Give it a second, sometimes it takes a while. There we go. Okay, so you can change the name of your console if you're going to set up multiple or if you just want to make a bit of fun. I'm going to keep it the same, so press next. Then head over to Remote Play on this device. Press continue and don't show again if you don't want it a reminder saying that it works better on a wired connection rather than wireless. It doesn't really matter as long as you have a good connection. This rocket will appear, which means it's worked. And when the Xbox logo appears, as so, it means it has completely worked. You head over to this page here, and you can either set up your controller in Bluetooth settings, or you can just continue with the one that you've got connected to the Xbox, as long as your um, tablet or iPad is close to the Xbox. Okay, so get over to this page like we were before and press the test remote play. This just makes sure that your internet connection between the app and the Xbox is good. If you don't know how to get to this page, go back to the start of the video where I explain how to get here. Once it's finished, like here, it will tell you what's good and what's bad and how you can improve your experience with remote play. And that's how you set it up. Okay, so to set up screen recording on Apple products, go to Control Center in your settings. I've already got it enabled, so I'm just going to press remove and show you how to do it. So if you scroll down it will say down here and you just want to put the little plus arrow and then you've got it up. So if you go to the home screen and you use the little pull down menu 
you can see it is recording this video now and you can just press on it again to turn the video off. Your videos will save to photos so you can easily edit them in iMovie or some other video editing software. I find it's a great way to use remote play and screen recording. I used to record a lot of my videos on it when I started my channel. And if you're thinking about making a YouTube channel from your Xbox, it's a great way to start. So until next time, goodbye.